Hi everyone, I'm Lady AFK and welcome to episode 15 of Extra Modded New Vegas. In this episode, we're going to be seeking out the key to our new underwater home. So let's get started. I almost thought it was going to freeze. Okay, so according to the key, it's over here, Repcon HQ, so let's go back to Boulder City. Wow, these load screens are taking a long time tonight. When I was a kid, Dad told me the legend of Deadeye Cedric. Cedric had lost both eyes, but he could hit a bottle cap in midair with his hunting rifle. Bighorn Snoon. I don't know if I've been in here before. Yes. <laughs> Are you a ghoul? I'm not sure you should be here. I didn't know they had ghoul in town. What is this guy? Private bear? Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a bear from the Nevada Bear Company's prestigious gold label collection. This limited edition collection of seven bears was created exclusively for the Nevada Bear Company by our designers in consultation with many of today's most highly acclaimed experts and designers from fields as unlikely and diverse as science, architecture, fashion design, and the military. We bring you this most unusual line hoping that you, the most discriminating collector, will enjoy them for years to come. You can gift the bears to Willow. If you mark the bungalow as Willow's home, they may be displayed there from her inventory. You may display them at any time. At the end of the challenge, they can be turned into non-quest items. Interesting. Are we going to have a drink? Um. Sure. I have a special present for you. You do? A present? I love presents. It's a very special bear. He has a name. He's called Private Bear. Ooh, thanks. That is a quality collectible. <laughs> quality collectible. No, I'm good. Thanks. What's this guy? Yes. Ike. A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. Um, show me what you have for sale. What can I get you? <sighs> hey, let's buy all of these. <laughs> Why not? Loud. Give Very me a nice. shout if you need anything else. Goodbye. Come back real soon. Now let's drink all of these. Oh, there's one. Any more? Not two. Is not bad. Better than none. Okay, which way? We'll head this way. Crow. We have huge crows here. Maybe we should um get naked. You know, so we don't. Hey, hey, six. Yeah. Okay, Niner. Same area it was getting laggy in last time. 
Um, was I this close to the trading post without realizing it? I'm done. Hey. 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 No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? The grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Thanks. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family, whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> so listen, can I ask you something on the level? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Uh, they're usually harmless unless you use advanced technology around them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, okay. so where are you headed anyway? Um, I go where I'm needed. Guess we have that in common then. <laughs> I'll be honest, you're the first person I've run across out here that looks like she can really handle herself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Um, you don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Hm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Um, okay, let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Uh, actually, I'm more comfortable now that I know you've had some training. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, okay. thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? You're yeah, welcome. baby. I'm Nina. Said, said, hey. Said, hey, I'm not. I'm, what are you, some kind of lesbian? <laughs> oh, Nina. Morning. And might as well get Russell while we're getting. Hey, come back here. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> what happened to your face? Nothing. My face is just fine. Okay. Uh. What brings you to the Mojave? I followed a bounty here not long ago, but the trail ran cold. I should get back on the hunt, but I just don't know. Uh, tell me about the bounty you were after. Might as well, he's long gone. A fellow by the name of Glanton. Used to work as a scalp hunter for the NCR. See, back when the Republic was brushing up against some nasty tribals and raiders down south, they hired Glanton to clean them out. Glanton and his gang were making so much money that pretty soon they stopped caring about whose scalp they took, be it women or children. Brass tried to put a lid on it, declared him an outlaw, but it didn't matter. Settlers loved Glanton, made him into a hero. If settlers or miners run into trouble with tribals, they hire Glanton. It wasn't until recently that the government got serious about him. A few months back, the NCR finally put a bounty of 10,000 caps on his head. I decided it'd be worth my while to go after him. Just my luck, he drifted south of the Mojave when I was trailing him. Rumor is that he was meeting up with some old accomplice, Judge Richter. Apparently, this guy ran with Glanton years ago. You don't, by chance, know anything about him, do you? Nope. Damn. That seems to be the consensus around here. Why don't we work together? We can split the bounty on Glanton. Teaming up would have its advantages, but I need to make sure you can handle yourself. What are your qualifications? Sometimes a silver tongue is more useful than any weapon. I'll respectfully disagree, but... I gather you're pretty persuasive. That could help if we get in a tight spot. I do have to ask, though. You're not in bed with Caesar's Legion, are you? I am not. Oh, I haven't... okay. Good to know. I can respect that. Look, I'd like to get started after Glanton right away. Are you ready to go? 
Let's do it. Good. Now I guess we'll start where I left off up north of town. A trader by the name of Tonopaw Tim said he sighted Glanton up there. Swift and silent perk. This beats the hell out of sitting at the 188. The old 188. Alright, um, I wasn't expecting to do this, but I'm glad we did. Let's see what this lady over here has Morning. to sell. You a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. Um, should just show me what you have sure, to Sure, no problem. some cash. Let's head out. Morning. That is one battered eye bot. It's a miracle it's still functioning. Yeah, he's all right. Hello. A lot of followers. Okay, well, uh, we're at the RepCon, but I think we're going to save that for next time. Uh, I guess I lied about what we are going to do. I didn't realize, I don't know why I didn't realize we were that close to the 188. Uh, I guess I'm just being dumb. But um, thanks for joining me. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.